calling it the biggest poaching ring they've ever seen in the Northwest, slaughtering of more than 100 bears, cougars, and other big game. And those suspects now facing close to 200 criminal charges in Skamania County, where they faced a judge, and our Tim Becker has been following this investigation for months now. And you were in the courtroom, Tim, as these suspects appear? Yes, I was yesterday, but long before that, Washington uh, Department of Fish and Wildlife Police spent hundreds of hours on this case. You know, it started small, but quickly ballooned into what it is now after investigators came across a stockpile of evidence via electronic media. And a warning right now, what you are about to see may be disturbing for some. A pack of hounds bays at a treed bear. Seconds later... My first reaction is I almost vomited. It made me sick to my stomach. Fish and wildlife police in Washington say the slaughterings like this... Get them, boys! Go back at least a couple of years, and most of them are documented in extensive reports that investigators were able to file thanks to the video and other digital evidence like text messages, GPS tracking by pinging the suspect's cell phones, and photos they took like this and like this. This particular violation really lays down the foundation that it was people killing animals to kill animals. There was no really other motive behind it other than these individuals wanted to kill. Did you understand what you were charged with in all 28 counts? Yes. 23-year-old Eric Martin is one of several suspects, frequently highlighted in the hundreds of pages of reports. So is 23-year-old William Haynes. Police say the bulk of the evidence came from their cell phones. I mean, to archive your escapades like that, you've got to feel pretty freewheeling. You've got to feel as if, you know, um, the chances of getting caught are like winning the lotto. We want to know. Um, you know, we can, we can see what they did. We know where they did it, you know, how they did it. Um, we always want to know why. And sometimes it's that why we don't, we'll never get to. Early this year, police moved in and seized evidence, including 84 packages of various game meat in Haynes' freezer. They also found three frozen bobcats they say were killed by Brian Trediak. Anything else we need to address, with Mr. Trediak? No, Your Honor. Trediak pleaded not guilty in Skamania County Court Thursday. Others there include 57-year-old Eddie Dills, who's facing 26 counts. Thank you, Your Honor. If we can next address Joseph Dills, page 4. And 30-year-old Joseph Dills, charged with 61 counts. Haynes leads them all, facing 64 counts. I mean, almost 100 animals, unbridled poaching, running hounds through forested areas in broad daylight that are closed. The man himself. In my career, I've never seen anything like this. But we are seeing it now, partly because some of the suspects, for whatever reason, felt compelled to record their big game backcountry exploits. This I don't understand, and I don't think I'll ever understand. Um, I don't think they'll be able to explain that. Well, each man faces at least one felony charge. Any investigation continues. Evidence showing the suspects also spent some time here in Oregon. So now they're looking into that. And, you know, the Washington Department of Fish and Wildlife Police say if they didn't get those pictures mm -hmm. and video, uh, which was consented to by the suspects at some point along the way, they probably would have never cracked this case. case ever would exactly. have been cracked. You were in court with them. I mean, we saw them a little bit, but how did they react when they were in court? Very stoically, mm -hmm. just like you saw. Yes, sir. No, sir. Didn't say much. Listen to their attorneys. Wouldn't have talked to you know to me at all. So. And, and fascinating. They actually providing the evidence themselves in on the, the end, crimes yep, they that's committed. The way, that's the way it turned out. Tim, keep us yeah. posted. Sure. Thanks, Tim.